the intensity of the dizziness itself, does it help me to reach a diagnosis or the other? No. Or differentiate? No. You can have a very strong spinning vertigo with the benign cause of dizziness, such as BPPV, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, and you can have a very strong spinning vertigo with acute stroke. So the, the, the intensity of, of the vertigo does not distinguish whether or not it's a central brain lesion or an ear lesion. Mm -hmm. And the, the reason for that is the vestibular system is not just the ear. The ear is one component of this vestibular system. The vestibular system comprises the ear component, the nerve component. There is processing of that signal in the brainstem. And those signals are sent up to the cerebral cortex where we perceive those sensations. So vertigo ultimately is a perception that is generated by the cerebral cortex but, and the activation or, the, or the, the activation of the vestibular circuits can take place at any p point in that pathway. It can be in the brainstem or in the inner ear. Occasionally, very rarely, it can be in the cerebral cortex and you ought not to be making that diagnosis, which is of vestibular epilepsy. We see one or two cases a year in a specialist clinic. But mm -hmm. the point I want to make is that the vestibular system is not just the inner ear. It's the whole axis from the ear to the nerve, to the brainstem, to the cerebral cortex. Okay. So you cannot distinguish where that uh, problem lies based on the intensity of the vertigo.